0.0000097. This was the probability of someone scoring the highest number of marks in JEE Advanced 2022. Plank one पे अगर हम बात की जाए तो R K शिशिरों ने परचम लहराया है. IIT Bombay जोन के R K शिशिर. A I R one R K शिशिर. तो R K शिशिर ने. Hello everyone. Here we have the All India Rank One JEE Advanced 2022. So man why don't you introduce yourself first of all So my name is Shishir I have got uh, Air 1 in JEE Advance I'm from uh, Bangalore and I've been studying in uh, Narayana Now this number seems small but the competition is insanely high Around 10 lakh students appear for JEE every single year and yet there's only one top People spend 2 years some spend 4 years while some students even spend 7 years of their life preparing for this examination That's insane but what's more insane is being the topper of this exam But when did you start preparing yeah. did you also start preparing from class 6 class 7 and all yeah even i'm like early but i start preparing from 8 but okay i think i wouldn't recommend it but yeah i prepared start preparing from 8 you know what it takes to be a topper how many years of preparation what books to use how many years did he prepare how many hours did he study every single day i don't know man but today we have the topper rk shishir to tell us the books tips and the ultimate preparation strategy to prepare for it jee exam Hey so this video is going to be a bit longer than other videos on the channel but that also means that this video is going to be a game changer for lot of students who are preparing for IIT JEE we have literally tried covering everything so just sit back and watch this video very carefully and stay till the end i don't usually say that but stay till the end and if necessary get a pen and a book take care let's go so what do you mean by you started preparing in class 8 Uh, did you actually start solving HC by mind all those standard books back then, or I would say like I have solved a good amount of like books okay. in class eight, nine, ten. But the thing is like I don't remember much of it after going to eleventh. That was a big issue there. So how does your daily routine look like? So I like uh, wake up at five thirty and I just get ready to go to college. It starts from six thirty for us. We used to have class from six thirty to eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then we used to have like half an hour breakfast break, and then we used to have like classes from eight uh, thirty to like twelve thirty around. And in that we used to have like ten minutes break. Mm-hmm. And after eating lunch again, we used to have like a session for two to eight. There also we used to have a break. And after eight, like uh, I used to come home and I was a bit exhausted, so I was. Do not like study after eight. What do you do in your breaks? For example, if I study for two hours, if I study for one hour, what should I do in the break? If I'm taking ten minutes cover break, or if I'm taking fifteen minutes cover break. What is the best thing to do during the break? So, like, whenever we have like actual schedule breaks in a timetable, like everyone would take a break. So I would just uh, talk to my friends and just uh, relax. Okay. Or else, like, if I want to take a break on my own, I'll just uh, take the stroll through a campus for some time and just come back. What, according to you, are the best books for preparing for IIT JEE? Like mains and for then for JEE advance. So, like, whatever I would recommend after my years of solving is for JEE mains, I would say to first have a thorough. reading of ncert for chemistry and physics and then solve the previous mains books okay like there are previous year questions mm-hmm. so then for maths i would say like the difficulty is a bit hard and i, I don't think ncert might be sufficient here mm-hmm. so i would say like to, to get the basic concept from ncert mm-hmm. and uh, there are some miscellaneous uh, examples and exercises in the back side for ncert those mm-hmm. are pretty useful and again i would say like the previous year question that should like set you up to a stage in a confident place for jee mains okay and like i would say don't attempt jee advanced preparation until you are like completed with jee mains preparation at least like for that week maybe for that syllabus so you mean to say whenever you are studying a chapter first solve the basic questions and only then attempt yeah. the higher order questions because this will help you in two ways first thing this will help you in understanding how to solve the questions first and the second thing is like you will not feel demotivated that you are not able to solve the questions according to you what are the best reference books ncert is are the standard books but apart from this did you also refer some other books so like for physics i used to like follow physics galaxy for mechanics i used uh... hey so before you get to know what reference book that he has used he has a very quick information from my side so the an academy scholarship exam which is going to happen day after tomorrow which is 15th of this month Today is the last day to register for it and just listen to this if you do well in the exam you have the opportunity to go to Eurospace center entirely for free you will also be added to special rankers group and you'll also get 100% scholarship on an academy subscription and all of this for a price lesser than these four dairy milks if you use my code T H E R U N T A R 5 lakh students ne enroll kiya hai today is the deadline link in the description now let's get back to the reference book that shishir is suggesting let's go Okay. For mechanics, I used uh, an foreign author book called uh, Introduction to Mechanics by David Plepner. 
but uh-huh. like i had to like filter out the stuff which are not there for a syllabus and i had to use it so like for physical chemistry i just use my teacher's notes cuz like honestly the formulas are required not much more than that mm-hmm. for organic like i used uh, introduction to organic chemistry by peter sites okay so like because like these are just college books and they're foreign author books i have to be very careful of what i'm going to read cuz majority of it is in out of syllabus and like actually i wouldn't even recommend it for a normal student oh, got it got it similarly for mathematics what was that so like mathematics i would say like the previous mains questions are good they like they give you a pretty good idea of like what formulas are and how to apply them and the mm-hmm. previous advanced questions i would say are really good cuz they just make you think a lot you know there are a lot of standard books inside you know the market right now for example there is singe series there is aryan series there are you know so many other coaching institutes ka series and all after the conversation that we had in the last 5 minutes i understood that you did not use any of this i used them at the ending but big that's just because i had too much time in my hand like what is your favorite subject math physics chemistry which one is it? so like i would say my favorite subject is math i just enjoy doing math math acha you love math a lot how many hours did you study uh, you know each subject individually so like because in 8 9 10th i used to like enjoy math my math is pretty good even like going to 11th and 12th Mm-hmm. so like at the starting like i was just giving 4 4 hours for each because i had to like learn the stuff got it. like once i had learned everything and like we our exams got delayed we have a lot of time for revision got it so like i realized like i'm strong at maths so i started giving like 2 and a half to 3 hours for maths 4 hours for physics and like rest all time for chemistry because i was like very bad at inorganic and so imagine there is a person person a called rahul he listened to the class he made the class notes he went through the short notes but when he sat down in the study hours he was not able to solve the questions what is your advice for these people so like if there's a reason of not solving question there are two things mm-hmm. either you have conceptual lapse mm-hmm. or they are just solving too hard questions and you just have to like uh, first solve the easier questions once to get a hang of what you are doing and then maybe you can see. or maybe start with example problems then level 1 problems and then level 2 basically like building the bricks Yeah, it's better to build than like try to directly build a building with a foundation. Got it, got it. And people also have a lot of doubts on how to make the best notes possible. And uh, is short notes important? I can't comment much on this because I was too lazy to make notes in the class time. Okay. And uh, if I don't understand, I just read the textbook again and again. I didn't mind if it took more time, but okay. What about short notes? You did not even make short notes. No, my remedy for short notes was just giving more exams so that all the type of uh, questions might get covered. Got it, got it, got it. Perfect. perfect. As as you brought up the topic of uh, exams during your preparation, how frequently did you give the mock tests? I used to give two mock tests a week on Sundays. Like generally, it used to be similar to the advanced pattern, and some days I used to give like. means uh, mock test just but the ending i used to give like a mock test every day the last one month i used to like, give one mock test every day so i can just get exposed to more type of questions and Got the it. main thing about mock test is don't get demotivated by your low scores in that you will score yeah. low it's not a great deal what was your motivation how did you stay so consistent how did you say so dedicated so like the first thing is like just i had to stay in the top in my college that's like a requirement for me i guess like okay because once i was like the top i had to just maintain that Mm, correct. And the second thing was like whenever I used to get demotivated, like my parents, my teachers used to support me a lot. Got it. And then uh, sometimes I used to see videos about IITs and all, like how the life is. I've Got seen it. even some of your videos about IIT Kharagpur and. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So like that too used to motivate me. In whenever I felt like not studying, so that I'll just study more. Got it. Got it. So what? What? According to you, what is the optimum amount of time that a JE aspirant should prepare? So I would say like uh, yeah, ten to twelve hours. If you are focused for a ten to twelve hours, it's a pretty good time. You don't have to give more time than that. You'll get a pretty good score. Got it. Got it. So basically, your preparation strategy was not in not much into making notes. going through the notes and all it was more aggressive it was like just go through the textbooks listen to the class and solve as many questions as possible and then solve like two mock tests a week in the beginning maybe three mock tests in the beginning and when you know advance or jee mains or these thing, exams are coming up then you solve one mock test every single day so that you can get up more uh, exposure to the questions Yeah, basically. So that is all for the video, guys. I hope you have loved it. So the actual interview took over like one hour or something. So this video is like a shorthand trimmed form of it. And if you'd like to watch the untrimmed version of the entire interview, I've given the Telegram group in the description below. Join it, and I'll be posting the entire video at 9 p.m. today. And if you have any questions either to me or to Shishir, just go to the comments below and ask us. And I'll make sure to answer each and every. question that you ask and rest apart i'm back midsums got over i'll be posting the vlog about it very 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 soon either on saturday or on sunday and the placement drive in the campus also started so life has become a bit hectic right now 
But anyways, I'll see you very soon. Either on Saturday or on Sunday. Bye bye. Microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking.